In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. Welcome to the Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today is Wednesday of the third week of Easter season. Together with all our intentions, we pray for those people who entrust themselves to our prayers, those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries today, those who continue to ask prayers for their healing and their petitions, and for the eternal repose of all our departed loved ones. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith, an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders, and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in hearts and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the Righteous One, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law of transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with Holy Spirit, Look up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and Stephen said behold I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God but they cried out in a loud voice covered their ears and rushed upon him together they threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive 
my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to this execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the flooding of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Please all stand. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord the crowd said to jesus what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you what can you do our ancestors ate manna in the desert as it is written he gave them bread from heaven to eat so Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, It was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Muli po, magandang hapon sa inyong mga naririto sa atin sa pambansang Dambana, especially those who are participating with us through uh, via live streaming and those people who are abroad, joining with us through our social media platforms. I am the bread of life. Jesus said to us and telling to us, Jesus said to his disciples and telling to each one of us today's gospel that he is the bread of life. Siya ang tinapay ng buhay. At Nais natin tayong lahat na dumudulog kay Jesus. Kaya tayo pumupunta dito, kaya tayo nagdadasal, kaya tayo sumisimba, kaya tayo tumatawag sa Kanya sapagkat may pangangailangan tayo. Tulad ng pangangailangan na ang katawan natin sa pagkain, nawa sa ating pagpapalalim ng pananampalataya, 
lagi nating maisip na kulang ang buhay kung wala si Jesus. Our life cannot be completed without Jesus. At kung paanong nabubuhay ang tao dahil sa pagkain, Jesus is offering to us His life, Himself, as true bread. Kaya nga po ang pinagmulan ng banal na misa kung saan tayo ay laging tumatanggap sa Kanya ay tinapay at alak. Sapagkat alam ni Jesus na ang pangangailangan natin ng ating katawan ay sa ating mga pagkagutom. At ang ating pagkagutom ay napakaraming muka. Maaaring ang muka ng pagkagutom sa ating buhay ngayon ay ating mga sakit, ang ating pangangailangan, ang ating mga biyayang hinihingi sa araw-araw, ang ating lakas ng katawan, ang mga naisin natin sa buhay. At lahat ng pagkagutom natin ito, sinasabi sa atin ni Jesus ngayon na siya ang tinapay ng buhay. Ngunit anong dapat nating gawin? Sabi ni Jesus sa bandang huli ng mabuting balita, Una, kailangan nating lumapit sa Kanya at pangalaway, kailangan nating maniwala sa Kanya. We have, to, we have to come to Jesus and to believe in Him. Coming to Jesus is a great example of being humble, of humility in front of Him. Ang ating paglapit kay Jesus ay palatandaan ng ating pagpapakababa pagtanggap sa sariling maraming bagay ang hindi natin kaya. Kaya tayo lumalapit sa Kanya. Subalit mas malalim po yung pangalawa. Jesus is asking us to believe in Him. Hindi lang tayo lalapit sa Kanya. Sa ating paglapit sa Kanya, kailangan nating maniwala na kaya niyang gawin ang lahat para sa ating buhay. Coming to Jesus and believing in Jesus are two things that we have to do so that we can always receive Jesus as our bread of life. Upang matanggap lagi natin ang mga biyaya sa araw-araw, sa anumang ating iba't ibang mukha ng pagkagutom, kailangan nating lumapit sa Kanya at mas malalim yung kailangan nating maniwala at manampalatayang kayang ipagkaloob ni Jesus ang anumang ating hinihingi sa buhay. My dear brethren, in this Holy Mass, let us ask Jesus when we receive Him in the communion sa pagtanggap natin sa Kanya mamaya, inyo pong ibulong sa Kanya, sabihin ninyo, Panginoon, bigyan niyo po ako lagi ng lakas ng loob na lumapit sa iyo. At sa paglapit sa iyo sa lahat ng mukha ng aking pagkagutom, sa paglapit sa iyo sa iba't iba kong pangangailangan, unti-unti akong manampalataya at maniwalang ang lahat ng bagay ay kaya mong ipagkaloob, ikaw na tanging tinapay ng buhay. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, 
Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover have been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and even pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please, 
all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, I am worthy, not worthy that you that should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed.
second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of Saint Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. Altogether, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you, our needs do we confide as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una sa inyong pagbisita sa pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa paligid po ng ating simbahan, may makikita kayong mga QR code. Pakiscan po at pakilagay ng mga hinihing detalye tulong sa documentation program. Ito po'y upang isaayos ang mga datos ng mga pilgrims at devotees ni Santo Padre Pio. Ang inyong suporta ay malaking tulong sa tagumpay ng proyektong ito at umasa kayo. Nasa po magitan ng batas ng Data Privacy Act ng 2012, iingatan namin ang inyong mga private informations. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Ang mamaya pong gabi sa alas 8 ay mayroong banal na oras dito sa main church upang ipagdasal ang inyong mga intensyon na isinusulat sa mga sobring inihuhulog sa mga donation boxes. Please all stand. For the blessings of the religious articles.
I would ask you to hold all the articles that you want to be blessed. And for the people who are at home, these prayers also for your blessings. O Lord God, you are the source of all blessings and grace. Pour out your blessing on these instruments of prayer, the rosaries, images, prayers, roses, this healing rub and miracle oil is that remind us of your goodness, holiness, and love to us, so that all who come and pray through them may receive your mercy and grace. Through them, through them help the faithful imitate the holiness and teachings of the Lord and the saints forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We thank all our servers and all of you who participated in this Holy Mass. Thank you very much, and you take care of yourself always. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Jesus the Lord.